Hey, Chad, do you hear that sound? Huh? Do you hear the music? Huh? Hey, you cannot hear what? Oh, sorry. I will take this out. <laughs> Are those my earplugs? You were snoring so loudly last night. I couldn't sleep the whole night. Pom, pom, pom. Huh. Like motorbike racing like that. Are you sure it's not your own snoring? Huh? Give it back. I don't want... Huh? Who is playing piano? Huh? Exactly. I tell you, he's going to wake up the entire neighbourhood. Music like that sure can stay until very short. Not like your snoring. Cha si lang. <laughs> cha si lang. Wow, this is so good. I needed to sweat it all out. I was so busy with the wedding preparation. Farah. Say no more, Faye. Apology accepted. You know what I wanted to say? I know things haven't been smooth between us. You called me out to apologize, right? So, apology accepted. Actually, I asked you out because I wanted to tell oh, you that... Oh, guess what? Fawn Boutique actually offered to custom design and sponsor our budget rogues. We just have to do a photo shoot for them. Farah, I don't want to go ahead with the wedding. It's not working out between us. Excuse me? Let's break up. Are you serious? The fitting is in two days, Fig. Two days. I'm sorry, Farah. I should have ended things between us instead of wasting your time. Okay, Fig. Getting cold feet is normal before the wedding. Farah, it's not cold feet. Then I'll see you at the fitting. Wednesday, 1 p.m. Don't be late. Olivia! Hey, here, your coffee. Thank you, Melvin. You're a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. I was so busy today. I didn't even have time to check my social media. Hmm, that means business is good, huh? Good for Swatao. Good for me. Time to think about raising the rent. Actually, I was busy entertaining a customer who recognized me. See? He's just posted the Wi-Fi we took on my fan page. Hmm. This chair is so young. More like your fan's grandson. He's my biggest fan, I'm telling you. He was so excited that he told all the other customers who I was and even sang a bit of my hit song. <laughs> you sound like you just struck 4D, huh? Must be a while since someone recognised you. We were chatting and he said I should start working on my next big hit song instead of working here as a receptionist. I was so embarrassed, I didn't know what to say. Hey, what's there to be embarrassed about? There's nothing wrong in being a receptionist. So I told him that I'm Tauke Heng's good friend and I'm just helping him out for now. Melvin, I can't disappoint my fans. I really need to get another hit song out soon. Hmm. Say that again? Hafiq doesn't want to go ahead with the wedding. Look, one moment I'm telling him about the fitting, and the next he tells me he wants to break up. I'm sorry, I don't have the bandwidth to deal with this. I'm so stressed with wedding prep while Hafiq's completely hands-off, chasing some silly real estate dreams. What's a badminton champ doing selling property? He's wasting his potential. Farah, I'm sure it's just exam stress that's affecting him. Che, can you talk to him, please? He'll only listen to you. There'll be reporters and sponsors at the fitting. It will look good if he pulls out. That boy, uh. Don't worry, Farah. If you ask me, it's just cold feet. You think so? Of course. That's Hafik for you. He always got the jitters before a major tournament. But... After I give him a pep talk and push him back to the court, he becomes a different animal. <laughs> Hafik, the shuttlecock champ, takes over. Not to worry, Farah. Chi will have a word with him. I promise you. Thanks, Chi. <laughs> ah, Hafik! Sayang, I don't think he's in the mood for your pep talk right now. I don't care if he is JJ Lee or JJ Cho. The rules say, Residents can only make noise after 7 a.m. Exactly! This fellow started playing the piano at 4 a.m. in the morning. Ah. Okay, don't worry. As your grassroots leader, I will make sure you sleep well at night. I will go and talk to him for you. Yeah, better. Hey, hey. Okay, okay, okay let's go. Huh? What are you doing? 
You're going to speak to the piano player, right? I'll come with you. You think you're meeting JJ Lin or JJ Cho? So capable for what? This is not your problem. But this is a neighborhood issue. I'm also a grassroots leader. I'm Junior only. You take care of the Long Kang Ken already. Make sure they are not choked. Leave the important work to me. Okay, hey. Robert is my kopi kaki. Huh? I want to help him. Okay. You want to follow, I so cannot stop you. But leave the talking to me. Since I'm the senior grassroots leader. Uh, but... But what? Let you come, you still want to butt? Okay, okay, no butt, no butt. Can you butt out? Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. After you, senior grassroots leader? Okay, I'll meet you at Crown Coffee Shop now. Mm, bye bye. Hey, Billing. Good, you are here. Um, anything urgent? I'm actually meeting a client. I need to seek your advice. Actually, I. I have a relationship problem. What? You got problems with Auntie Norani? Oh. You got a girlfriend? No, I. Can we go somewhere more private? Hafid wants to... Hafid wants to call off the wedding? His fiance is not keen on him being a property agent. She wants him to continue playing badminton. So, to make the both of them happy, I wanted to ask you if there's a way he can be a housing agent at the same time play badminton. So when did the breakup happen? How come you never read about it on social media? You housing agents have flexible working hours, right? So Hafiq can work for four hours and train the rest of the day, right? You wish. Even though I have flexi hours, I work more than 12 hours a day. Because so many viewings and so much paperwork to do. And weekends confirm burned. But Hafiq can't do that if he has to train. From my understanding, Hafiq's giving up badminton to go into property. As his mentor, it's my duty to help him achieve his goals. But wow. I can't believe he's calling off the wedding. Such a big news, huh? Wait, so am I the first to know? Hey, Pei I thought you said 10 minutes. Oh, sorry, sorry, I lost track of time. <laughs> hey, Ibrahim. Ashraf. You two know each other? Of course, he's my patient. <laughs> More like a crash test dummy for his physio sessions. Hey, speaking of which, my friend, I just sat for my physio exams, okay? Good. So you can do physio correctly now. Hey. <laughs> Joking only. Joking only. So, are you planning to buy property? No la. Who is as rich as you, Ashraf? By the way, you know my son Hafik, the badminton player? Well, he wants to be a housing agent and Peiling here is his mentor. David, Hafik is your son. Mm -hmm. Tell you, your boy will make a good agent. He convinced me to buy a few units in a new development and turn out to be a good investment. But, wasted, he won't be able to get his licence. What makes you say that? My previous agent, Ace, told me that Hafiq didn't make the grade to qualify for the licence exam. Ace. Ace Ang. <laughs> Don't listen to that fella, Ashraf. Hafiq couldn't take his exam because that fella sabot Hafiq and made him miss his classes. That's Ace. He doesn't want Hafiq to become an agent and potong jalan his clients. That's terrible. Uh, you know, I always had a bad feeling about this. That's why you fired him and hired me, right? <laughs> anyway, I saw Ace talking to a woman about Hafiq. What woman? I think she's called Farah. Farah? She's Hafiq's fiance. Why would she be talking to Ace? And what were they talking about? Maybe she wants to buy a property. Ask her to come and find me. La. I don't know. I left halfway. But anyway, I can find out. Thanks, Ashraf. Hello, Ace. Hey, can talk. Uh, Mr. Ashraf? Thanks, uh, Uncle Ibrahim. He was supposed to meet me. Now he's meeting Ace. I will do the talking. Watch the master at work. Mm -mm. Hello, I'm Tao Ke Heng, your grassroots leader. And you are? Huh? Not Ha! Huh? Heng! You are? Mikael. Mr. Mikia. The neighbors are complaining about the piano playing. But there's no law that says I cannot play. 
Please be reasonable. You play at 4 a.m. in the morning. You are disturbing your neighbours. You no need to sleep. Other people also need to sleep. This is my home. I can play my music whenever I want. Oi! <clears throat> okay, hey, I think we should talk to his neighbours to see how we can get through to him. This type of people, no need to waste time talking. He also cannot hear. Come with me. How many times did I tell you, you know, I always love to. Love to. Gotta love. Love to what? What is it that I love to do? You love to eat. Tim Sam, Tim Tim Sam, Siu Mai Ha Kai Ro Mai Kai, Akong Ama O Dubai. Yeah! Thanks, Chan. Who would have thought songwriting makes you so hungry? Still trying to write your song, ah? According to a songwriting guru, I should write about what I know. But I don't know where to start. Hey. You know me, what? So write about me, lah. Chan Mali Chan, oi oi. Chan Mali Chan, oi oi. Chan Mali Chan. Chan, you know that's a song about a little lost goat, right? Oh, oh. so the goat's name is also Chan, ah. So did they find him? Never mind. I also a songwriter. Um, Cantonese song, Mandarin song, Hokkien song. I bought it all. Really? Where'd you get your inspiration from? In the toilet, lah. Ah, nice and quiet, nobody disturbed. Especially when I bear up. For goodness sake, Chan, I'm eating. You must have the feeling to write a song. Or else nothing come out. Something must come out, you know what I mean? I think I just lost my appetite. Right, Ace, thanks. You're right. Ace sabotaged Hafik because he felt threatened by Hafik. But that's not all. There's more. Apparently, Farah is also involved. Cannot be. Ace is lying. Why would you lie about this? Father wants to destroy Hafiz's career in real estate. She got Ace to make sure that Hafiz's class attendance is so low, he can't sit for the license exam. An exam that, in Ace's words, he could pass with flying colours. This is too much. So, if you're still not convinced, ask Ace. Sounds like Farah is the main player, my friend. And that Kacang Putih Ace is just an accomplice. Khatija. Hi. Have you heard from Hafiq? Uh, no. What happened? I don't know what's wrong with him. I mean, he hasn't been his usual jovial self. I'm worried about him, and I thought since you guys are such great friends, maybe Fik told you what's bothering him? Well, he looked okay when I saw him yesterday. I mean, I was facing some legal family issues, and he came by to lend me his support. But I don't know what happened after we parted ways. Uh, that must be it. I mean, after he met you, he's been so emo and depressed and he wanted to call off the wedding. No, Really? And he said that there's no way he can be happy if the people around him, especially his good friends, are having a difficult time. Farah, I had no idea he was so affected by my family situation. Yeah. And to think that he was so looking forward to the wedding. But that's half it for you, you know, always so empathetic. Anyways, I managed to convince Fik to go ahead with the wedding. But if you want him to be happy, uh, no. Farah, I am so sorry. I knew it was a big mistake to let him come with me to the court hearing. Don't worry, I know what to do. Hmm? I have to rush. I'll see you around. See you. So you're going to just leave this at his door? That Nikian, when he sees this, he confirmed wouldn't dare to play the piano so early in the morning. How to be a good neighbour? Keep noise levels down. Be considerate towards your neighbours. Observe the quiet hours between 10.30pm and 7am. The police may be notified if you do not adhere to this. Hey, Tao Ke Heng, this is a small matter. Let's talk to Mikael before we threaten to call the police. Chandra, as a senior grassroots leader, I have dealt with this type of people many times. You got to scare them. If we don't threaten him to call the police, he will not listen. Huh? No wonder Farah insisted that Hafid go with her to the wedding planners last week. She wanted to make sure that he missed his class. I can't believe Farah will resort to this. 
This Farah so smooth. Even you were taken in by her. We need to warn Hafiq about her. Can we not tell Fiq? I think there's a chance he might get back with her. Eh, I can't believe you still want our son to marry this kind of woman. Farah just wants him to go back to doing what he does best. Badminton. What's wrong with that? Sayang, how would you feel if I don't want you to be a physiotherapist and I sabo your exam? Huh? I know you wouldn't do that because you're such a sportive wife. In fact, I would never have been able to make a career switch if not for you, Sayang. I'm glad you know what a supportive wife you have. Don't you want the same for your son? Katija. Faye, it's Mama. Your Baba and I have something to tell you. Forget it, Mama. I know what's going to happen. Baba's going to force me to get back with Farah and to go ahead with the wedding. I'm just going to get angry. He's going to get angry. It's not about that. Just meet us at the coffee shop later, okay? Hello. Hey, you've been working very hard, huh? Here's some multivitamins. Melvin? It's good for your immunity. You didn't have to come all the way here. I was on the way back from my golf game. So, how's the song coming along? Got the chorus already? You must be joking, right? I haven't gotten past the first two lines. No thanks to Chan. He started singing his silly Hokkien song and I can't get the words out of my head. <laughs> OK, let me guess. See you. <laughs> I came as soon as I got your text. Chi, I assume you managed to convince Hafiq to go ahead with the wedding? Hafiq, you don't have to marry Farah if you don't want to. What? What's going on? Farah, I know you pack up with Ace to make Hafiq miss his property agent classes. So that's why you kept pestering me to meet the wedding planner and run all those Pointless errands. No, it was Ace who goes to you. He was the one who wanted to destroy your career in real estate. So do you. You never supported me. Never? How could you say that? I've done everything for you. When you had no money, who was the one who gave you the loan? Huh? When you were so worried about your mom's ITP, who was the one who got her the medical trial? Did you get me the ITP trial just to make Hafiq stay with you? To manipulate him? Okay, Fake, listen. You want to be a property agent, right? Okay, I'll pay for your license exam. I'll even pay for the cost, whatever it takes. We cannot cancel the wedding. See, everything is a transaction to you. I give you this, you do this. I give you that, you do that. I'm sorry, Farah, but this is not the kind of relationship that I want. Sometimes uh, I wonder if this Tao Ke Heng knows what he's doing or not. Huh? Why? You listening to me or not? Sometimes I wonder if this Tao Ke Heng knows what he's doing or not. Who say I'm not listening to you? So you agree with me, right? Huh? How can this Tao Ke Heng threaten to call the police on the piano player? Actually, the fellow can play the piano quite well. Mm. You know what? As a grassroots leader, you should organize a karaoke session and ask him to play the piano and invite the whole neighborhood to sing together. Then he's happy, you're happy, no more nagging, I'm happy. 
You think I don't know, is it? Huh? You just want to get free karaoke session so that you can drink and yell into the mic. Mm, so, you met a piano player? His name is Mikael. <laughs> Come to think about it, huh? I've never seen him before. It's like suddenly he appeared out of nowhere. I I know everyone. I mean, I know everyone in the neighborhood. How come I never seen him before, ah? Huh? Yeah, your sunny place number one kepo. How can you not know him, ah? Huh? Something is wrong. You better go and kepo some more and find out why. Hafi, wait. I've got nothing to say to you, Farah. Fig, the wedding's in less than a month. Do you have any idea how bad it will look for you and me in front of our friends and relatives? Not to mention the sponsors and media. So you're turning us into a show now as well? We've always been in the public eye, Fig. We're the golden medal couple. Right. That's why you're always doing what's best for me, right? Making decisions for me. You talk as if you've never benefited from any of this. I admit I did. And I can't thank you enough for all the help you've given me. Especially when I was at my lowest. But doing all this for appearances isn't the kind of life I want to lead. Why are you being like this? It's because of the Khatija, isn't it? In case you haven't noticed, because you're so hung up over her, let me tell you something. When she needs you, she acts all pathetic and helpless, waiting for someone like you to swoop in and rescue her like a knight in shining armor. And when she's done with you, she'll drop you like a hot potato. Has she called you since the court hearing? What did you do to Katija? I'll do whatever it takes to get what I want. Hiya, there's no sound. It's quiet. No piano today. Yeah, you're right. Too bad. It sounded so nice yesterday. You are the only one uh, who wants to hear the piano early in the morning. Ah, yeah. What is noise? Beautiful piano playing. You say noisy, I say nice. Early morning chicken kokoke, you cannot sleep. To me, it's zi nature. So peaceful. Kahon po po po. You say okay, I cannot tahan. It's always like this. People complain because they only think about themselves. Wow. That was uh, surprisingly insightful. What?